It's time to get ready to celebrate summer and the 4th of July holiday. But before you light up the grill and gather up with your friends and neighbors, you will want to make sure that you have enough delicious food and drinks on hand. Here with a few suggestions for your backyard parties is lifestyle expert Kyla Kanzader. Welcome. Thank you so much. So happy to have you here, I especially when you're talking here. food. <laughs> and food that everybody can eat. Yes. Yes. So yes. walk us through what you have here for our 4th of July parties. I want to start with the, the pastas, pasta. right? Yes. Yeah. So the theme for this is a healthy way to trick your guests a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, <laughs> I've been able to trick my husband a little bit with a, a couple of these treats. But this pasta is amazing because, one, it is actually lentil, lentil bean. Lentil. Yes, yeah. it's linton bean <laughs> pasta, okay. which is amazing because it is packed with protein. So 22 wow. grams of protein in this delicious dish. So this dish. is made with lentils? Yes. That pasta is. Yes, it is. That is amazing. So, so when you say trick them, you mean trick them into eating healthy at a barbecue? Absolutely. Amazing. All right, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm so with it. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. So with this dish, all we have is some amazing pasta, olives, tomatoes, some chili powder, well, chili flakes, and of course, some fresh basil. That is amazing. It looks beautiful, it too. Is. And I topped it off with some pine nuts, which, you know, of is course, it a little crunch? crunch. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so, and that's this one here, then. Well, no, yeah. it's not this one. I already oh, used that box, one. but okay. this is uh, definitely the, the brand. So this is Explore Cuisine. They actually okay. do all these different pastas that really help you kind of mm -hmm. get to that goal that you're trying to get to. I love that that was a problem. I used that box already, <laughs> so I used a different one. That's good. Wait. It must be good. And this is actually what it looks like inside the box. So okay, I'll tilt it this way yeah. for them. All right, great. And then we've got meatless meat. Now you're speaking my language. Yes. Tell me about this. So I've actually tricked my family with this meat a couple <laughs> of times. It has an amazing smell, an amazing texture. But the great thing I love about this is it's soy free. Great. So for yes. me, I, I know I try to stay away from soy. And this is all... All of your grains, your vegetables, yes. which I love. So if you're looking for a good Italian sausage yes. or if you're looking it's for a field roast, right? Sausage, yes. I once saw a viral video about this woman that had <laughs> field roast for the first time, Tabitha, and she lost her ever-loving mind. She thought it was so great. So I think I'm going to have to try that one, too. And it comes in so many different flavors. It does. It does. Yeah. So you have chipotle flavor, Italian, and then they do a breakfast, uh, a breakfast sausage and, of course, your regular burger. The field burger. All right. Mm -hmm. I like that. And they okay. have a cookbook, too. So oh, Good. If you are in the mood of really trying to change your lifestyle yes. and you don't know how to change it, this is a great way to start. This will get me back on track. I've sort it of will. strayed, so we're, we're coming full circle there. there okay, go. good. There All right, go. and then I see something else that's <laughs> definitely vegan. <laughs> it is. It's organic. It's organic. It's organic. I'll take that. Okay. Thank you. I'll have to read it later. <laughs> yes. So it's organic. This is an organic vodka. It's uh -huh. been distilled 34 times. Oh, wow. A regular vodka is distilled between three and four times. Yes. So this actually gives you that extra flavor. So even while everybody's enjoying drinks, mm -hmm. we can definitely mix in some organic vodka. Yep. And I love Brooklyn Craft It. This is a ginger beer. Oh, and you okay. can actually see the ginger in the bottom. So, so it's legit. It's legit. Yes. <laughs> it's legit. And what we're going to do is actually make a Moscow Mule oh, real perfect. quickly. Good. Well, this so, is starting out my afternoon night. <laughs> okay, show me what I'm doing. So what you're going to do is six ounces of ginger beer from okay. um, Brooklyn this is already, Practice. This is already yep. six ounces, right? And this is the spicy. This is the extra spicy. So okay, we're going to so pour that in there. All right. This is seven ounces, so we'll yep. just top it off. Leave a little. Oh, you know what? Forget it. We're <laughs> doing seven ounces. We're going all the way here. All right. And then we're going to do two ounces of vodka. Okay. So, and I mean, that's my suggestion if you want to go over. Right. Have fun with it. Well, I mean, it's early, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then you mix in your a couple of your berries. Okay. And then mix that up, and then you are good okay. to go. It is that's the it. perfect Moscow mule that is colorful for the 4th of July and at the same time refreshing, light. Yeah. And of course, we can say that we actually had something and we that did was it ourselves. fresh and organic. All right. And if we are just wrapping up here, I want us to get to the non alcoholic yes. drinks as well. <laughs> so, if you have a guest that are not looking for that, not looking for alcohol of course right. you can just do it a regular ginger beer right. but also sparkling ice is great because it's that it's that flavor without the sugar yes so, right so i mean you win win right win win and yes. in the summertime we really have to really think about the amount of sugar that we're intaking Kyle, so many important and wonderful products and i love tripping my guests to eat like <laughs> me great thank you so much for being here thank really for appreciate it me. and we'll be right back with more midday maryland right after the break stay tuned <laughs> 